Hey everybody, so I just wanted to make a quick 5 to 10 minute tutorial on how to add Pulse Chain Testnet V4 to MetaMask because I know probably many of you are curious on how to do that and also on how to add PulseX's contract address the new Testnet V4 PulseX contract address. Remember, since it's not V3 anymore, PulseX will have a different contract address as V3 and V2. So you could easily, there's two ways you can do it. You can either go down here, you can either type in this, RP, this uh, website right here, and it also shows that there's 10 second block times. Last time, the block times were 10.7 seconds for what I saw, so it's faster. And we also have 8,400 transactions already daily transactions in the last like two hours that's a big deal so if i refresh this for example you know we're seeing that the transactions are coming in so there are two ways you can do this you can either go down here and go to add testnet v4 and you can just click approve and then bada bing bada boom you click that and it's listed however I choose to do it more manually because I, I, I would rather just do it manually. I'm, I'm that type of guy. So what you would do is I'm going to show you how to do it manually as well. Just for your own sanity, go to add network. Go to, uh, where is it? Where is it? I always have an issue. Okay. Add a network here. So pulse chain test net V4. The RPC and always remember to do the HTTP. So there we go. RPC v4 dot testnet dot pulse chain dot com nine four three T pulse. Oops, there we go. And then we put this here scan v4 dot testnet pulse chain dot com. Press save, bada bing, bada boom, bada bizzle. We got it. Okay, switch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to import tokens. Now how do I find this token, you ask? Well, your boy's going to show you how to do it. So you're going to press all. You're going to go down here. You're going to wait for these to load. So pulse X, and this is probably the reason why is because of the fact that things have to sync and things are not deployed yet. So that's my presumption here. So I'm going to go to pulse X. I'm going to go here. I'm going to take this contract address right here, or you can copy it like this, or copy it like this, doesn't matter. And then you press import tokens, token contract address, see what the decimals are, 18, Pulse X already did it for me. Lovely, done. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's all you have to do. I'm going to add all of the links. I'm going to add all of the RPC details, so don't worry about that. But this is how you do it, and this is how you check out Pulse Chain's Testnet V4, and this is how you add Pulse Chain to your MetaMask. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to add all the links in the description, so don't worry about that, so you're safe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.